I think you were here before. I was, and that's why I need to give you my little update. <laughs> okay, so what's your update, honey? Okay, so when I came on the show, I came on very late at night. So I think, like, I didn't get too much um, interaction from people who was, like, really, like, well, you came on late, like, after YouTube, Instagram, and you promised to come back on Facebook. Like, you was dead tired. You know, it was just, like, I think but what, didn't I make just you, a bad did you night. Wait, pause. Didn't I make you a highlight? Yes, you did. Okay, so none of that matters then. Whoa. There you go, Kendra. Get this back on. She come in. Kendra, I've been on here before, but... Last time I was on was late. Nobody was really watching. You don't even know. Kendrick, I made you a highlight. You went viral. Everybody seen you. She so hold, hold up, though. Ain't no way in heck she on here right now trying to say, hold up, Kendra. I'm back, Kendra. Because last time I was on here, I don't think your uh, usual audience was all the way tuned in. It was late. It was a holiday. You know, it was an eclipse. And people know, she has been on single by choices she has been here go back I, we have already I, had this woman on just for i remember if you're a fan if you know you know she's been here i know and she back this is glorious come on big shirley i remember her vividly yeah she met kendra she actually met kendra in person before at some police station after her door was kicked in you know i guess when nug nug had her held up at gunpoint whole hostage situation if i remember correctly so she a whole deal that context who has she since qualified for nug nug that has was this couch negro was so bad he done held her hostage all like got the door kicked in and that's how she actually met kendra in person at some police station or something like that in chicago there you go. So now she's saying she ain't getting enough exposure. Let her reintroduce herself, if she will. What's your highlight? Well, more people are exposed to you, regardless of the live. Well, that's probably with the update. Why I should give the update because, like, remember on my—I don't know if you remember—I specifically wanted like a guy that was local, and it's like I got everybody from Ireland to the UK to Jamaica to like everybody out the country to want to like date. Hold up. Whoa, this is amazing. Oh, uh, past Green Car Bay saw that Kendra. He said, he said, hey, my man, I got one on the line. From Ireland, Jamaica, the Ivory Coast was on Big Pearly's tail. So <laughs> terrible. You know they saw you, Big Pearly. Wasn't that late? <laughs> Cause Green Car Bay was on you. Real talk. <laughs> she she got what her market was. She is she is confused. She like hold on, Kendra. I didn't get Drake and Idris Elba in them in my inbox. Something must have been off here. Let's try this again. Oh, here we are. Ho, 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 like, ho. If, like, if I don't got Liam Nelson, like the dude from Taken, I can't come travel over in these countries. <laughs> like I don't feel safe. <laughs> It's hard dating people in the United States. So, like, I'm not the girl that's you finna fly me out and I'm gonna go, like, in Paris and go meet no random dude. Like, I, I don't know you, you know? So, like, I have, like, so many people like that. And I met a couple of dudes. They were kind of young that were from the States, but, like, totally out my league. Like, totally out my league. Like, at all. Like, so I don't know if it's just, like, because of the BBW how, how situation. How your league in what way? Like, Young, thugged out, like I, I got a roughneck, you know. They was roughnecks, like street dudes, you know, and they were like 25, you know, like under 30. You know, I'll be 40 July 4th, so I definitely don't want nobody 25, like my brother's age, just, you know, so it, that wasn't gonna work out for me. <laughs> so, a couple of things I remember I think your hair was red. Yeah, my hair, it still is red. I just got on one of my girls. Okay. okay. She got on one of her girls. All right, she went on to say she tired of these young nug nugs coming at her, huh? She don't even understand. Young nug nugs still searching for her is actually the cream of her crop. That's okay. as good as it gets because because young nug nug about to become old, worn out, can't get it up. Nug nug, okay. she better take. She don't even understand. That's as good as it gets. She what? Ladies like Big Pearly here need to step outside herself. 
Miss Redhead, <laughs> Redhead Big Pearly. She said her hair still red. She just got on. She just got on one of her girls. Uh, it's just foul. But <laughs> this is good as it gets. This young Nug Nug still coming her way, trying to trying to take advantage of her is as good as it's going to get as long as she blowed out and swole up like that. Or, or here we go. Or she can go ahead and be realistic and say, you know what? I know what Green Car Bay about. I know he at least going to give me a whole fantasy reality for weeks or months on end. No, for months on end, he's going to give me a fantasy reality. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to this to this uh, Green Car Bay because I know that's as, that's as good as it's going to get. Green Car Bay is good as it gets for her. Ireland, wherever she need to take that and talk about getting flewed out to Paris. Relax. You ain't getting flew. Wherever you, <laughs> wherever you make it out to, you will be paying your way. Ain't nobody <laughs> flooding and flying <laughs> you out nowhere, sister. Yeah, they try, they're they trying to get flued in. What you talking about? So Yeah. First class. Business class. No spirit. On your dime. You got the game. Fucked up. <laughs> And then I think you said you went viral for cooking. Yeah, so I am a social media entertainer. Um, I went viral for a couple of things. I did this Cardi B video dance thing, and it got like 4 million views. And then I'm viral for my pan frying and the aluminum pan. I got like 25 million views with that. And I started my own show called The Oso oh True Show. And through that, I meet a lot of guys. Like, you know, but it's like they're not coming for the right reason. Everybody want to make this Facebook money now. So guys try to like, oh, I like you. I've been into you. I'm, you know, I'm feeling you. But it's really because they really want me to put them on my show. And they want to get this thing called dual income where, you know, they get a check for being on co doing content. So you got to kind of like be careful with who you date and who you don't. But, you know, I'm a BBW. And, you know, I'm like, I just feel like maybe I need a second chance. Or maybe I need some people that was actually woke that night. <laughs> because it was so. Hold on, man. She keep talking. Like she said, she got that girl in her head, and it's throwing me off. Not the bad guy. The bad guy. It's oh, throwing me oh, all the way off. Oh, oh, oh. She oh, no, she's throwing me off, y'all. I the promise you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she, keep, she keeps stressing the fact that the last time she came on, when she made her original grand entrance, that nobody was awake. She said, I don't know what was going on, Kendra, but I don't think people was awake. It was a whole bunch of roughnecks and people out the country. No, everybody saw you. You went viral over and over again. Everybody saw you. Everybody laughed. Everybody enjoyed it. You yeah, wild. She got like TikToks and stuff with millions of views. And she talked about, I can't trust these men. They be coming in. They trying to get what's known as dual income. They, I'm a social media star. I'm a cr content creator. Y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop. Everybody a content creator. Just because you can reshare a piece of content does not make you a content creator. We got to stop. We got to stop. There you go. Yeah, that is a very, very loose term. I tell you that much. I tell you what, this one here is just way too easy. Man. Yeah, she up here talking about she didn't find her potential man because people was asleep, not because she is completely and utterly blowed out. What does BB, what does, she says she a BBW. She a big, a big, beautiful woman. I think that's what BBW said yeah. for, big, beautiful woman. Like, can we get some context to the first part of that big the young, big, beautiful woman. It's my understanding that no man wants, no woman should be one to call big, big Bertha, big Shirley, big Pearly. You know what I'm saying? Why you want to be called big and you a woman? That's usually reserved for the, the male species. You know, that's big John, that's big Willie, that's big Dan, not big Shirley. You're supposed to be little. What's up, little, little Shirley? You know what I'm saying? Little pearly, that's cute. You a lady. You ain't supposed to be big. Why would you want to be a BBW? That don't make no sense. When you want to be a LBW. Because, because, Drake, because Drake said he want a BBW. You see, and these men, you know what I mean? That wasn't no good for the game. Y'all must understand when them men 
Words mean things. If y'all seen what these women look like that they call BBWs, trust me, we got to stop. Yes. And that's why, yeah, words, we need to just put words out to passion nowadays, uh, terms and words, BBW, thick, because they all just uh, is a cold, a sick cold word for fat. All it is, all these terms and words, thick, plump, voluptuous, they should mean something. They should actually have categories, you know, should be one should be, you know, slim ways with maybe big this. There you go. All of these pleasant terms should have something with a rather slim waist, not a big old gut. Unnecessary. And a big ass head. <laughs> Who was it? Uh, Walter uh, Briscoe, I think, said she can't even fit her whole head on the screen. Come on, man. The man's supposed to have a big ass pit bull head, a uh, pit bull dog head. Not the woman. She looked like she got she would lock her jaws on you. This is not desirable, sister. You can't expect people to take you seriously when they look at you and say, "Wow, she don't take herself seriously." Don't you see that all that excess weight, all that fluffiness, all that BBW goodness? That is a display of lack of discipline, and nug nug know it. That's why Green Car Bay on you, Hot Pursuit. That's why Young Nug Nug coming in to take your income tax check and get some cloud off of you via your social media status, so you say. So late. Okay. okay. Well, we'll do it again, but I do have one question because you mentioned it yourself. You said you have your own show and you meet guys from your show. So what would be the purpose of coming on my show then? A different caliber of man, you know, because for me, I feel like with my show, People can target you, you know. These people don't know about my show. They don't know anything about me, you know. What do you mean? You just told everybody. You fool. She gonna say, on my show, they gonna target me. But over here, I just told them about my show, so they can't target me, right? Huh? Oh, my God. I can't this woman. And, and that's the... She, it got, gets she so got so many excuses as to why she's single. She's just trying to rationalize this, and it ain't working. There you go. It has, she's single because people use her status against her. She's single because people will sleep. <laughs> Whenever she came on, Kendra, these is her words. People will sleep. And the only people that was awake was people in different countries looking for green cards. <laughs> passage to the passage to the to the land of opportunity. That's the only people that that's there is zero accountability. The elephant in the room is bigger than her damn head. She would not say, you know what? I need to lose some of this toxic excess weight. Let's see. Maybe she ain't said it yet. Let's give her a shot. Hold on. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> Unless they go look over on my show. So now that I can't say you've been watching me for three months. Like the last dude I dated, I dated him on and off for a year. And he kind of like, he watched my show, so he knew everything about me. And in the end result, because he did that, it was like he was able to use me to his advantage for that. You know, like he knew my backstory. He knew about past relationships. It's kind of like I know exactly how to get her without her knowing I'm getting her. All right, let's start from the top. What's your name, honey? So I'm Shanae, but everybody calls me oh so true. What do you want me to call you? You can call me Nay. Nay, okay. Nay, mm -hmm. where are you calling us from? I'm in Chicago. Chicago. How old are you? Um, I'm 39. I'll be 40 July 4th. I'm a cancer. Cancer. You have any kids? I do. They're grown. How old are your kids? Uh, 24 and 25. Okay. So have you ever been married? Yes, I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going through a divorce now. Okay. So two questions. Are your kids by the same man? No, they're, they're, they're my adoptive children. They're not my birth children. Did you ever get, you ever get birth to children? Well, I did. My daughter was born stillborn, and I've had like seven miscarriages. I could give. You know what? Again, I here we go. Hey. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all kinda. We gotta get real here. Oh, she working. She working me up on this one. Listen, a uh, him. You can be too skinny to give birth, okay? And you also can be too damn big. It is extremely unfortunate 
the loss that this sister has experienced. But at what point does a, any accountability come into this? And she's saying trying to talk in circles. Talking about she got two kids, but they both pretty much grown. Then Kendra keep asking questions, and this rabbit hole gets so deep and so dark so fast. Sister, stop looking for a man for the foreseeable future and get obsessed with a gym somewhere and just physically and mentally cleanse because you ain't in no position. You keep saying, dudes, watch your... You keep saying dudes will watch your content and learn everything about you, then come in and use your past and your life experience against you. That's nuts. That is an insane way of looking at it. She Not that the fact lost, that she, she done lost seven children. She couldn't be in the right mind state. I, I ain't no woman, but man. That's that's what I'm saying. And here, this is what I'm saying. She most by how, likely by how many men God knows. But go ahead. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. See that that story gets darker, and darker. Don't even want to know how that all went down. You know what she is. This is one. This is a one night stand, Betty out the club trying to get you drunk. She feeding you Hennessy shots. You know who she was trying to get trying to get that seed up out of her. So she went and adopted. In short, she ain't in no position to be over here trying to date nobody. She in she need help. Pray for that sister. Anything else she say from this point is a joke. I say I'm sorry. Got no got no smoke for this goofy chick. Let her continue on. Let's 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 see where this crazy trade takes us. Pregnant, I have a problem with holding a child. Oh, sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Now, okay. question. You're going through a divorce, so you're currently married. You know, I let it go look over on my shelf. So now that I can't say you've been watching me for three months, like the last dude I dated, I dated him on and without her knowing I'm getting her. All right, let's start from the top. What's your name, honey? So I'm Shanae, but everybody calls me oh so true. What do you want me to call you? You can call me Nay. Nay, okay. Nay, mm -hmm. where are you calling us from? I'm in Chicago. Chicago. How old are you? Um, I'm 39. I'll be 40 July 4th. I'm a cancer. Cancer. You have any kids? I do. They're grown. Oh. How old are your kids? Uh, 24 and 25. Okay. So have you ever been married? Yes, I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going through a divorce now. Okay. So two questions. Are your kids by the same man? No, they're, they're, they're my adoptive children. They're not my birth children. Did you ever get, you ever get birth to children? Well, I did. My daughter was born stillborn and I've had like seven miscarriages. I could get pregnant. I have a problem with holding a child. Oh, sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Now, okay. great question. You're going through a divorce, so you're currently married? Yeah, I'm currently married, but we're already like doing That's divorce what, stuff. That's what I think it is. Hello? Hey, hello. hello there's, I'm here. There's hello, echo. there's an echo. You did, did something. Okay. Hello? Can you see me? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's what I think they told me about the last time, is that you were married and you didn't tell me that. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, yeah, well it's like totally in divorce, so like I'll be divorced. Um, it probably be finalized by maybe May. So every how like, long I'm, you been going through a divorce for? Um, three years because me and my husband we got married. We never consummated, so it kind of made it a different, you know, a little different in Illinois. Like, so we never had sex. You never had sex with your husband? No, no. How long were you married for? Um, we were married for two years. So you were two years. Why did you never? <laughs> Y'all heard that. We ain't gonna act, we not gonna act like she didn't just say that. Come on. Hold up. This is too much. Let's back this up. Let's back this crazy train up. We're gonna look too fast even for my liking. Who? So she was on before, and out of all the stuff she said, she did not disclose that she was pregnant the first. I mean, not pregnant, that she was married the first time. She is currently married. As bizarre as that is, it gets more bizarre. She's married to a man, and they were married for two years. They're undergoing a three-year <laughs> divorce, and they never even was physically intimate. I want somebody to do their best to imagine what this man looked like. <laughs> or or what's this like, or just how much cap this is at the least. 
How in the world you've been married to somebody for two years and y'all never was intimate? As I said, maybe she made a deal. Like I said, some of y'all men out there, he ain't exactly whole. You know, let alone being a stallion in bed, he just ain't well, even in the bed. Well, I was gonna say he had to, you know, you who are you putting it? So I was gonna say <laughs> maybe she has been green card bay before. It may be like you said, he she is not desirable. So maybe she wanted to, maybe he didn't want to. Shit, then then there's that. But here, Mary, how here's my thing. I would imagine she wants some, she wanted to be physically intimate. So how did this? I am perplexed. She on Kendra looking for a man, and she's currently married. That's one of Kendra's, you know, uh no go. She pulled a plug on that. You married, you can't be on here. But she done came on here, and here we go. I keep saying that these modern women got the most narcissistic behavior I've ever seen. Man, she come up here telling lies and being deceiving. This whole The whole first interview, then she come back on. She's sitting up here trying to put on her little glasses, do her little thing. She the one looking for clout. She claimed that every dude that come to her trying to get clout, and, and some type of income via social media, yada, yada, yada. And sister, you up here doing that. You up here putting on the spectacle. You up here chasing clout because that's all you getting. Like she uh, she wild. She robe. She don't deserve nothing. The only thing she deserves is five to seven days a week in the gym. It's the only thing she deserves. For have sex. Um... It was like for him, religious things is what he was telling me, you know. But you were my married. husband had got shot. He was from Chicago. He got shot and he was like, if you know, God spare me, I'm gonna live right back. You all wanna be righteous. So he determined when after that episode he had, he wanted to do everything by the book. So but when we got married, married, why can't you have sex? He's you're married. He still didn't want to do it. So and that's kind of like why I was like, I want the divorce. You know what I'm saying? Time, hold up. Like, time out. We time went. out. Time out. Time out. There we go. Some context. Absolutely beautiful. So this, Gavin, you was right. <laughs> you was right. This brother said, oh, whole oh, baby. I know we married and all, but I done been shot. I almost died. I got to get myself together. That brother said, I've been shot. And God told me I need to just not be doing that with you. And she said, well, why can't we do it? I told you she wanted it. Yeah, and that's like, what I said. I said, that's, she I'm telling you I, was, I didn't think that hit. I gave, I was giving her the benefit of the doubt. I was saying that the brother just wasn't able body, but she, he was just saying no. <laughs> he was just, yeah. no. Yeah. Uh-uh. We married, all that. But well, no. he said, let's wait till we get married. So, boom. He had got shot. He had had this divine intervention, right? And it, you know, within this awakening, God said, look, get your life together. Do everything by the book, which means marry and consummate and have intercourse after you marry. So she said, all right, let's get married. They got married. And then he like, well, the higher power gave me a whole new message. I know they what they said. Now they said you got to be married for 10 years. And she was like, whoa. So now she want to get divorced. <laughs> Y'all can't keep screaming that nug nug out here, narcissist, whatever. Granted, y'all can't keep crying the same cry whenever all these he's smacking you upside your fat forehead with red flags and you just keep taking it. You know what it is. Stop the cap. Stop. This is amazing. This is amazing. I tell you what, this content is crazy. Support this show. Support your interest. Put the money in the bag. We up here cooking on Big Shirley tonight because she is out of hand. She up here clout chasing all of the above. This is what toxicity looks like. I tell you that right now. Make sure you're hitting the like button and support the show. Also, shout out to Big E for the cash out, big dog. Appreciate it. Support the show. Like Willie said, hit the cash out. Link pinned to the top of the chat. It's also in the description. We appreciate it. Um, yeah, like Mr. D said, he was definitely Nug Nug slash Couch Ninja. Yes, he was. Yes, indeed. Man, she can't. And here's my here's my gripe. This is what grinds my gears. 
this is the same brother, more or less, who all of these poor desperate sisters is dealing with. And he's telling y'all the most loose and willy-nilly lies because he know you want to believe them, and you do. You sat here and believe that this man didn't want to touch you all this stuff. Y'all dumb. Y'all dumb. I, I wonder where he got out the deal. I'm, I'm very curious. But this woman is, she is on the verge of insanity. <laughs> Waiting for We married now. And he was like, well, you know, God just haven't spoke to me yet. I'm just not ready. Okay, well, he's speaking to me, and I'm about to call Tyrone. So, like, what you want to do? Why does it take you so long to get a divorce? Uh, it was actually him. Like I said, my husband, he moved to Kentucky, and, you know, he traveled a lot. So getting him served was an issue. You know, I had to have, like, a private investigator. Like, and it was just because it was out of state and because we never consummated a marriage. So the law is a little bit differently. So it's kind of like you have to do an annulment. Both parties have to agree to get out of the marriage. So the time has passed, and that's why it's moving forward now. It's over the, you know, the three years or whatever. So, because I, I got this, you know, I got this policy about married people on my show. No, I didn't, so, I didn't know about the policy. Well, I mean, you're not saying you're married i'm not married we are separated and have been for over four and a half years so this may you're saying it's going to mm -hmm. be officially divorced yeah everything for sure he should be finalized by may yes okay okay so um well let me jump to this question fast when was your last relationship have you been dating since you've been legally married oh yeah yeah yeah, because you know we was you know separated you know we decided to i departed decided to part ways with him within a year of us being married i was like i'm over it and he moved and i've been living my life as a single person ever since um and my last relationship was last year uh 2022. okay you don't have to answer but i'm gonna ask was the last time you was intimate with someone um in 2022 last year okay all right so this is day chicago 39 she'll be 40 this year she's a cancer Two children that are grown, 24, 25, currently going through a divorce. Um, so what kind of man are you looking for? I want somebody who's smart, God-fearing, loving, honest, um, somebody who knows what he wants. Um, it seems like I have attracted men who kind of like, I have a huge heart. And for some reason, I see the good in them. Like the last on your lady said, you kind of see the good in everybody, but they got to show you the actions amongst with it. So I want somebody that's already established, knows what he wants. Um, somebody that's independent that I don't have to help or do anything for. Um, just somebody that's gonna be real, but you know, into God and prayer, you know, things of that nature. I'm older now, you know. I don't want to. I I ain't club popping and you know looking for the men in the club. You know, that's the old thing we do in Chicago. So Woo! She, she said her heart is big. She said her heart too big. Why I just want to see the Kendra cam at this point. <laughs> she said, uh, uh, this one here, man. Y'all know what it is. Y'all see what this is. Ain't no need to keep, you know, beating a uh, dead horse here. Oh, <laughs> my golly. Welcome she in, Ash Rogers, man. We in here cooking tonight. It's getting a little wild out, you know. Shout right, out like to Edward. Shout out Edward for the cash app. Appreciate it, big dog. We up here cooking, like, man. We got like Walter here. said, man. This most likely was the truck driver situation. <laughs> that truck driver notorious for for getting a whole a big big pearly state to state. He notorious. Okay, okay. That that truck driver. He show up. He always got cash on hand. You know, <laughs> too easy. Too. She is prime prey for. You know, for a uh, truck driver, nug nug, for sure. Well, I think, like you said, a lot of women come up here for clout. She definitely up here clout chasing, trying to. But at the same time, she, for love. she it's just all it's just a completely train wreck. No matter how you slice it, I guess it's good for her, good for her content. Maybe I want to see her do this country cam. So I, you know, <laughs> there you go. That Walter Briscoe hit it. The truck driving. Uh, nug nug, that is ambitious. Nug nug, there you go. So, all y'all goofy single by choice sisters, that is your actually, that's the mecca for them. That is kind of that is top tier. Nug nug, he because he got resources, but it's up to you to try to keep get as much resources as you can because he he gone, but you can actually get something out of this. Nug nug, maybe 
if you you know if you hop on his rotation list because you own a rotation list from state to state, don't you see? You might just be Chicago, and then he got you know Philly, you know he all over the place. But yeah, this is ambitious Nug Nug, the truck driver. I like that. Oh, I want something different now. I like to be at home more. I like to travel more. Um, I like to have, you know, movie at home, you know, champagne, a little wine, you know, a little sip, you know, do some hookah, you know, so I need somebody that's, you know, somebody that work out too, because I'm, I'm on my little workout journey now. So okay. like, I don't want a big dude. <laughs> you don't want a big dude? No. We can't do anything together, but eat together. Like, no, it ain't going to work, Kendra. <laughs> but you told me. I want to feel what he got. You told me you're big. I'm a That's what you told big me. Girl, but I don't want a big guy. It, it, it's like it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. What are we gonna do? Well, <laughs> what? Okay, I'm learning this because people because you're not the first person that has said that they're big, but they don't want a big person. No. So I guess my question is, why don't you become the skinny person in the relationship? I, um, I don't want to be skinny. Um, I'm actually like, um, like I said, I'm doing my healthy stuff, like trying to do my weight loss and all that, and I'm actually. Uh, proof to get the weight loss surgery, but you know, there's steps that you have to go to on doing it. I don't desire to be skinny. Like I want to make that very clear. I've been a BBW my whole life at the age of 14, baby. I was a size 18. You know what I'm saying? These are not good things and stop with the skinny talk. Ain't nobody out here skinny nowadays. Ain't there are no skinny people. Ain't nobody skinny. Stop. Talking about, oh, I don't want to be a skinny person. I've been a, I've been big. I've been a BBW since I was little. I've been a size 18 since middle school. What are we talking about? Like Kev used to say, you weren't born fat out the womb. That's one of the number one things. That's what she is saying. She is giving that, that, that modern woman cry that has zero accountability in it. I was always big. Big, don't you see? I was born big as hell. I just been big. I was a size 18 since infant, since I was an infant. And we talked about that I, before. Like, parents, y'all gotta stop doing that to y'all children. So it is a much deeper rooted issue when y'all feeding them babies like that. They big by the age of five. They got you know adolescence, diabetes, all that. Y'all need to stop. Cause y'all ain't yeah, giving she, them a fair shake in life. Y'all really ain't. She not serious about her weight loss. It's all cap. What you just saw, you saw the look in her eyes. You saw her demeanor. She got that goofy little grin on her face. She just gave you, she gave you every reason why she shall never lose her weight. She was always big. She ain't trying to be skinny. She, she, ain't trying to be she said she want to feel you. She got to feel something. All right. What you just said, I can't do that with a big guy. We can't do nothing but eat together. You understand? <laughs> she, I do? need you to come here. I want to feel some muscle tone in this. What you think he wanted? You don't think he wanted to feel some other than 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 an abundance of blubber? Come on, you biggest hell. No, you let her do the kitchen cam. Tied her shit. Her do the I've always been, you know, on the thicker, chunkier side, and I've been okay with that, and I wear it well. You know, like when I step, I step. So. You know, it's not a problem being a big girl. You know, I just want to be a little bit healthier and be around for more years to come. But if I had to stay at this size, which is 336 pounds, I'm okay with being 336 pounds. I didn't is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Come on, man. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we even talking about at this point? You 330. Y'all just, let's get some context. Y'all all just watched the Super Bowl. How many out of them big ass gladiators out there in the field, how many you think was, uh, was around 330? If she says she 330, I'm going to say she 360. <laughs> Because real, that so, problem, so. how many, how many, how many offense, how many defense alignment in the field? Three, three hundred pounds. Not, can not a lot. Well, three thirty are three hundred, but like you said, three forty, three fifty, three seventy. No, that's that ain't that. But big. listen, who we talking and, about? We talking about also, modern day gladiators. And they also six foot six, six foot seven. You know, and and they built. To to crush and dominate other men on the come on, 
sister, you 330 of of just 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 dead weight. <laughs> 330. She said a three loud and proud. Look at her. Big sassy things. And she just said she told she told her uh her last man that you know you better come on. I'm gonna go call Tyrone. These big fat morbidly obese sassy chicks. She just sat there and said, if I pretty much she said, I wanna be more healthy and I want to be around for more years to come. She said so she, she understands. She, she said, I'm on my fitness. She understand that she morbidly obese and that her her weight is taking her up out of here. And but she gonna still say, but if I if she said, listen to the sickness. She said, if I could survive for as long as I wanted to at Tree Charity, then I would. But my doctor, last time I went to the doctor, he told me that I'm going to mess around and stroke up out of here. So I got to build my little health kick. I'm, I'm, I've been approved for the gastric bypass boy. I'm about to go ahead and get it high and tight. So she think. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Uh, what's the Allen Realty? What them got six seven two hundred sixty eight pounds? That's what I'm saying. Six seven two sixty eight specimens, and she three thirty at least. Like Gavin said, she probably three four three fifty, depending on if it's the weekend and she been partying or not. Ain't nothing good here. Ain't nobody checking for her because she ain't checking for herself. Y'all gotta understand. He you can't she come out here. Well, though, so she can't well. So let's see. Let's see. Because maybe she can't carry this tree tray six well. Let's see. Miss me. I've just so told you get the weight, are you getting the weight loss surgery? I got approved for it. Yeah, and I definitely am. You know, leaning towards going into doing it. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's do the casual care. Okay. Let me uh get my little thing situated here. Can you guys see me? Okay, we see you. When that, who mercy, when that stomach is hanging like that, I, I assume that she is currently on her weight loss journey. That's my. That's my hopeful assumption. But come on. How dare you come up on a show like this in this superficial world looking like that? Talking cash money. Talking about you told your last man you're going to call Tyrone if he don't come clap cheeks. And he never did. That's got to be a heck of a failure for a sister. And this you couldn't get him to come clap cheeks. He just refused. Y'all was married and everything. Come on, that's a hell of a nail. That's a heck of an L. Oh, here he, we go. He, with he, that, with, without knowing how big she is, I'm gonna say she had to be over 400 pounds at some point. See what I'm saying? Ain't nothing good. Yeah, I don't know, you know. Yeah. Um some men do like big girls. We hear that. So yeah, we do hear that. Yeah, you know? play, here we go. Let's try to find a silver line and play devil's advocate. If she got some resources, she says she's a, a content creator. If she has resources and means, just like the last woman, I'm telling mm -hmm. y'all, ladies, break out your checkbooks. Break out your checkbooks. Go ahead. Buy your couch, Negro. I'm serious. <laughs> Yes, they don't, they don't sell, and they out there. It's, it's still it's still a little cold out. Might luck up, land you something. Might might land you something all the way up until early summer, you know. But you know you got to make the deals where they come, and a lot of her deals gonna be very temporary, very short lived. It's unfortunate. That's what it is. So, okay. so you said that you don't want a person. So, what's the size? How much can a man weigh to date you? Um, I mean, he could be like a a, a bon, like with a little stomach. What's a bon. Or, okay, so a bon is a guy who's like maybe like two twenty five, two fifty. You know, I've seen a guy at three hundred pounds. You know, at the gym, but he's also six eight. 
You see what I'm saying? I don't want a guy that's my shape and my size. You know what I'm saying? I don't want a, a guy that's, you know, super big, like 300 pounds. It's, just, it's not going to work. I dated a big good. Like, I, I dated a guy who was big, like my size, 300 pounds. And it, it just didn't work. We had a good time together. Our birthday was the same day. Um, very cool. But when it came to intimacy, it just it just didn't work out. And I just wasn't okay with that. So Okay. Bring the phone back down so we can see your face. I tell you, I tell you so, what. So who fault is that though? Because cause cause even a big brother, let's say a Rick Ross or a DJ Khaled, they desire smaller women, they can get the job. But quit putting that on the man saying we couldn't have intercourse. I'ma say 85% of that's on you. You couldn't lift your legs. You couldn't get into a certain position. You can't do much. He getting that starfish. You land it like a starfish. He ain't getting much. Oh, I don't even want to think about that angle. Oh, do. Yeah, she. There's zero accountability here. You. She kind of got a point though. She can't have no man that come in there built all wonky like her. She right. What can they do? It's gonna be too much. It's gonna be too much excess body mass in the way. So shit, <laughs> yeah, me and the one of them be looking for a mate. Is that what we get? No, she, it, she, she, exactly. She said, I need a B O A. She, they like made up some hoodoo. That would be your age. <laughs> Kirsten, what's that? She said that's a man between two twenty five and two fifty. You know, no, I, 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 heard, I heard that she said a B O N. Is that a big old Negro? That's what. I, <laughs> She said a B O N. I said no. That's the only thing I, I said. Is B O N a big old Negro? Is that what is these the terms they coming up with? So she a B B L. She a big. She a big beautiful woman, and she insert. She ain't looking for no B O L. No B O N. No big old Negro. That is amazing. Oh, man. We got a B B. A, 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 a big beautiful woman looking for a big old Negro. Come on, man. This is getting real plantation ish around here. Y'all need to stop. Man, that dude. That sound that sound like some uh oh, ain't even gonna get into it. You right. That sound real uh antebellum, you know, real antebellum ish. <laughs> um uh, we'll move forward. I guess for me, just it's always challenging to me when a person in any category, right? Not not like we're talking about weight, but this is just a common denominator a mm -hmm. person may possess something that they say what they possess they will not accept so that always mind boggles me because like you know i like no. like an example i'll give people that will say I, I, they have kids they're like but i won't date a person with kids and i'm like well you have kids so i guess i'm understanding you're saying that you want to date nobody your size because the intimacy i guess doesn't work properly mm -mm. Why, kids, i want you to understand this like you know, everybody has a right to date what they like. Like some women want only dark skinned men, some men want only light skinned chicks with BBLs, fat asses, nice breasts, real skinny. You know, that's your preference. However, I tried. It's not like I was knocking the big dudes. I tried it, and when it came to the bumping and the grinding, baby, it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? It was like a bunch of huffing and a puffing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a big girl, and I'm and I'm pretty flexible. You know what I'm saying? I could do some tricks. I got some things. However, the guy has to be able to possess that and then you have to be well in doubt when you're dealing with a big girl you can't be like no vienna sausage like no so here we go here we who you gotta have at least she want the meat she want that meat baby she said you got at least about 18 inches of them things to get through all of this you gotta get through a lot before you even get to the box you understand you gotta, you gotta turn the gift up before you get to the box you understand <laughs> She said, you got to come with a strong back and equipped with a 12-acre baby maker if you're going to reach these goodies. She said, the last big dude I was with, she said, our, our genitals couldn't even come in contact with each other. You all be shamed. Huffing and the puffing, rubbing on each other, rubbing bellies. <laughs> uh, there's things worse than death. And those two poor creatures... Him and her had to sit there grinding and about to go into cardiac arrest over a whole bunch of nothing. Listen, God put us here to procreate. Listen, he made it easy as possible for us to do it. 
you must understand how the male and female sexual organs are set up and how the human body is supposed to be. It's supposed to be natural and it's supposed to be easy. Imagine these two people in the room and they trying to figure out how to have sex. <laughs> they trying to figure out how to do this. How are we going to do this physically? What position can each of us get in to where our organs can do what they what God intended us to do easily? Why is it so hard? <laughs> because even though there's dang near countless positions, we so big and blowed out that we got to find that one somehow that we can somehow get together and and make contact. They in there scissoring. He in there scissoring. Come on, man. They got to start scissoring each other. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. and come on, man. Y'all know how it's so bad. Hygiene plays a big factor in this. The sights is unsightly and the smells is ungodly. It's all bad. Like Gavin said, we made, God made us to where the act of procreation is supposed to be the most enjoyable thing a human can do. And y'all in here stressing and about to croak out, <laughs> trying to figure it out. Trying to figure something out that cavemen been doing since we've been doing this since the beginning of time. And y'all here in 2023, 2022, trying to figure it out. Go ahead with your shit, man. Absolutely. No, not. I, I guess the logic is finally seeped in. I understand it. But what gets me is basically what you're saying is you want someone to date what you would not date. Like you would not date a person that's 300 pounds. But you want someone to date you at 300 pounds. I mean, but there's people that like women at 300 pounds, 400 pounds, 500 pounds. There's guys who are into big women, just like there is guys who are into small women. I mean, you like what you like. I just, I'm not going to date a, a fat dude. Now, if you're fat and you're trying to lose weight, you having a weight loss surgery, and we could do we could do it together, then that's something different. But if your journey is to just, I'm big, I'm a B-O-N, <coughs> I'm 300 pounds, I'm happy with it, I'm not doing nothing about it, then no, I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I, I want longevity in my relationship and I want longevity in life. So ultimately for me, like I'm for me to be fat, let me just say this too. I don't have like diabetes. I don't have heart problems. So that's one second. Problem. One second. So I want to cut you off and I'm coughing. One second. <coughs> I'm sorry. I can see I'm a little sick. All right. Pick it up from you said you don't have diabetes. Yeah, I don't have like diabetes. I don't have heart problems, you know, cholesterol. I don't have any of those health issues that most big people are associated. People associate those things with when you're fat. I don't Here have go. that. And you got to stop. You got to stop. Big. Ladies and gentlemen, what we are seeing here, this one, whatever her name is, she ain't speaking no more. These is not her words. These are all her insecurities talking. It's not her. Because she talking wild. She likes so y'all don't understand. I am a special kind of fat and obese. I'm not like the average morbidly obese big old sister, you see. I don't have diabetes like the rest. I don't have hypertension like the rest. I don't struggle with gout, you know, like the rest. And 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 dark and extremely dark areas on my flesh in certain areas all wild. I ain't like them, you see. I'm a fat ass unicorn. I am special, don't you see? I'm not like them. I know what y'all thinking, cause I'm three thirty. I know what y'all thinking me being three thirty and all, but you wrong, you see. Ain't nothing wrong with my fat. That's them other fat chicks that y'all used to, but my fat is nice. <laughs> my fat ain't toxic. I don't have diabetes. Don't you there see? You go. Is it like some organic fat? Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's something new, you know? No. I'll tell you what. Yeah, like you said, she probably have spoke her piece at this point at the 8 o'clock hour on the East Coast. Holy <laughs> hell. Man. This is bad. This is what insecurity looks like in full force. This what this is what lack of accountability looks like. This is what single by choices looks like. To the umpteenth power. Real talk. So y'all just witness why this woman was single by many, many, many choices. The overwhelming choice, the choice never to push away from the table at all. 
right? So I let the way she was talking about both sides of her neck. She said at 3 30, she a BB, she a big beautiful woman. But a man that's 300 pounds, he's super big. She said, You can't cover a man super big at 300. But she didn't call herself super big she at 330. Yeah. She said, don't come up here, no B-O-N. She gonna quit saying that. That's ladies, and y'all I, gotta hit me. Can, this, I, this is new hoodoo. This is new. I'm th- B B O N. What else could it mean except for big old Negro? <laughs> come on. She said, you, she said you can't be no B O N. I said, man, she gotta stop. Can't be no big old Negro trying to get with no BBW. Don't work. 